I am making supper. So we are doing a sausage, broccoli, uh, tomato, and pasta kind of salad stir fry type deal. So I have kielbasa slash pull sausage with just frozen broccoli, um, rotini for the pasta, and then one large tomato and then two teaspoons of oregano leaves and two teaspoons of sugar. The oregano leaves are dry. If you want to use fresh, you have to use tablespoons instead of teaspoons. So I just cut ooh, the kielbasa up into pretty thin slices and I'm just letting it simmer. This is about half a bag of frozen broccoli. So one full full of sausage, half bag of frozen broccoli. Um, you can add more or less depending on what it is, but I have a nice kind of char going on with some of that. And the pasta is almost done. Um, you do the kielbasa and broccoli first, and then you put in the tomato mix, and then once that has simmered for about 10 minutes, you put in drained pasta and mix it all together. All right, so I have added my tomato mixture to the sausage and broccoli mix. I don't think I'm going to wait the full 10 minutes because I used a fresh tomato as opposed to a canned tomato so I have a bit more juice to play with and my pasta is now completely cooked. So once I feel like that is at a decent consistency I will drain the pasta completely and add it to the mix. Okay, this is the final product. Um, I would recommend using a actual pot for the pasta. Drain that, put the pasta back in there, and then add the sausage broccoli tomato mix because I am literally almost at the top of our sautéing pan, I guess? Or we usually just have it as the big lip sauce pan. So on that note, we shall try it. So it has been some time later. What did you think of the hodgepodge pasta sausage salad thing? It was good. I'm not really a huge fan of sausage, but whatever kind you got, did not have any intense spiciness with it. It's not that I dislike sausage, it just it doesn't agree with me. I get wicked heartburn whenever I have the really spicy stuff, even though I really like it, so I've learned that avoiding it is probably for the best. But I did like it. Uh, I did think it was a little dry. The Which I agree. were all there, but it was dry. I think you said that the recipe called for canned tomatoes instead of a whole tomato. I think that is what it said, but I figured a juicy tomato might work. Again, this was kind of on the fly cooking because apparently I didn't buy ingredients for what we were originally going to make, which we will do in a different video, but yeah. No, it was really good. I enjoyed it. It was a good test run. Or something that we never had before. So I really liked it. I guess we didn't get a picture of it. Did you show them? I did show them the final product in the uh, pan. Oh, well that's close enough. So. It looks pretty in the pan, it'll look pretty on the plate. Overall it was good. I enjoyed it. We'll have it again. So. Maybe with rice instead of pasta. Who knows? We'll change things up. I don't know how it would be with rice. We do like experimenting with food. Mainly you like experimenting with food. I like experimenting with the flavors of food. You like switching. 
You like switching something kind of standard and simple with something else kind of standard and simple. Yes. I say we have this in the cupboard. We have this in the cupboard. And we have this in the cupboard. Let's put them together and see how it tastes. Sometimes those were really bad ideas. I don't think I ever had one that I didn't eat, though. Okay, but you're one of those people that even when it is absolutely disgusting, you will still eat it. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'll tell you if it's disgusting. And then you'll take another bite. But I don't think I've made anything like that. Intentionally making something random, that was bad. Usually in that situation, it's something that we over season something and I'm expecting it to taste a certain way and it doesn't taste like that at all <laughs> so it doesn't meet my expectations so like the burgers yeah burgers too much seasoning it wasn't horrible no I ate mine yeah you I ate didn't half of one no I ate like three quarters of one they were okay Lesson learned. A little less seasoning. Oop. Fingers. 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 Yes. <laughs> Giddy. Kitty up here. You had no idea he was there. I don't think he knew he was here, to be quite honest. Wow, you are highly unexciting. And if you couldn't tell, CJ is not with us. His toys obviously remain. Ish. Grumpy again for another night. I Sorry. honestly think that he might be teething a little bit, which could definitely influence being a little fussy. It is also still his first week in the new room at daycare, so there is some adjustment period there as well, because I know they go more on a schedule than the previous room he was in. And Only if you want to. <laughs> I'm about to smack him. See that? I'm about to smack that. No. In the She face. wouldn't do that. I do it all the time. Lies. Don't believe her. This is for that computer. Why do I have this? <laughs> Wrong mouse. Okay. Tangent finished. The previous infant room let the babies kind of set their own schedule so that the babies themselves would eventually get into a pattern. So now that he moved to the second infant room, the older infant, the more mobile ones, they start to give them a legit schedule for, okay, we're gonna eat at this time, we're gonna nap at this time. So it, it's a little challenging for him because he's a very regimented baby from previous experience of other children to him he is very regimented like you do not give him his bottle within the half hour that he expects it oh lord there is a meltdown someone just dropped his phone he dropped it more than me I would like to add that she has dropped my phone more than I have dropped my phone and I was kind of flipping up in the air, so yeah. I was just asking for it to drop. I I will admit I am harsh on phones. That's an understatement. I have broken every phone except for the one before this one. The one I had before this phone. Um, it was a tactical one that you could drive over with a truck and it wouldn't break. It was. But I have skills in... Um, breaking things, apparently. So, that was the intent of said phone, was to be indestructible. 
Was that really the intention, or did you just buy it because you wanted it? No, it was intentional. However, the foam before that, which was also roughly about the same grade of indestructibleness. Oh, the battery got bloated. Yep, the battery doubled in size. That wasn't good. Background story. (laughs) Just stole your thunder. The (laughs) back slash battery of the old phone, so this is like four years ago phone, was one where you could actually remove the back of the phone and pop out the battery. Well, needless to say, my phone would randomly turn off and I had no idea why. Looked at it one day, oh, the back is popping off, I wonder why. Opened up the back, the battery had expanded to the point where it was literally popping itself out of the, what would you call that, power source? Or power docking? Uh, the positive negative ports. Conduits. Conduits. That. Words. <laughs> we know words. Word of the day. Conduit. <laughs> What's be the definition? Who cares? Either way, the plus and minus charges would disconnect and my phone would essentially shut off and I would have to restart it. So, had to get a new one at that point because, you know, battery acid is not good on any one person. So, history about me and folks concluded. I am horrible with them. Are you eating mini chocolate chips? Yes. (laughs) I like how you thought about denying it. And then decided not to. There's no fun if you know what I'm going to say. Yeah, but... At this point in time, nothing really surprises me with you. I have a sweet tooth. You do have a sweet tooth. I've known this for a very long time. Not good. Better than me. I have a salty tooth. Is that a thing? I don't think officially. I like salt. He likes sweets. So, yeah. Christmas time is good when we can make the chocolate dip pretzels. Mm Mm-hmm. What are you doing? I'm holding a Tony. Why are you holding a Tony in such a manner? Because he likes to plank. Do you really? Do you? I don't know if you do. I can do this and you just start to smell my face. (laughs) All right, so with this cuteness, waving goodbye, we will see you guys tomorrow at a very fun-filled Saturday all-day visit. Okay, bye! Snoodle.